it's going to be a bed, bedside style video because it's 1 a.m. and I should have made this video early, but I decided to procrastinate, so that's on me, but I told myself I'd be making a video a day. So this video is going to be quick, but as you guys can probably imagine, the whole entire world and the, mom was talking about the presidential election. At the end of the day, everyone's going to have their side, everyone's going to have their opinions on who they choose and why they choose them. And of course, there's always going to be a party that's mad, party that's going to be happy. But at the end of the day, our Lord and Savior is our judge. He judges us. He, you know, plans out what is meant for us. And all we have to pray for is just God watches for this, what happens in terms of the next four years or wherever it takes us, whoever is elected. Like I said, I don't get into politics by any, I don't really even care about even talking about any of that, but trust God just throughout it all. At the end of the day, you still have to wake up tomorrow. Do your job, be your due diligence in terms of who you are showing up as a person, despite and regardless of what happens in this decision that is made from the world and who they choose. But if you glad you guys are not new, you know exactly what I do and how I do it. A lot of you guys are if a lot of you guys are new, I recommend just checking out a lot of my videos that I have on my page, walking you through step by step on how to make money. You know, in terms of like I said, regardless of who gets elected, you still have to show up, you still have to be be the person for you in order to get to where you want to go. And going into the new year, you want to make sure that you don't do that whole new year new me BS because there's no reason for you to think mentally from a logical standpoint that your life's going to change overnight once the ball drop in New York City. Like, be honest, that's just not the way it goes. I think really setting yourself up just in terms of going into the new year with momentum, where does that mean starting on something, investing into yourself? You're just going to build tolerance in terms of Okay, this is something that you're really, really wanting to do because you want to go into the new year as a new person. So that new image, that new person, the beauty of changing your identity and who you are, it's all within the snap of your finger. If you can snap in your fingers one day and tomorrow and say, yeah, I want to focus on everything that's in front of me, the opportunity that I'm being presented, and you snap your fingers, you mentally will make yourself think, okay, this is the time frame that I have to get everything going. How fast can I do this? And not really necessarily how fast can I do it, how fast can I do it before the end of the year, before we enter into the new year. So if a lot of you guys are completely new to what I do, basically my goal is to help brands grow on TikTok. I get paid anywhere from 30 to 50 grand a month and I create separate TikTok pages for them. They send me out product and then my goal is just to post viral videos. The best thing I would say for a beginner to get started with this is I would reach out to brands and just offer them commission-based deals. And why is that? Because it's hard for you to want to charge a brand up front and you have a brand pay you because you haven't done this. It makes sense for a brand to pay you that commission. And even then, if you're focused on actually learning the skill, the money is something that you know that will come once you learn your skill because any skill worth learning will take time. So doing that, taking on how many clients you would want and then ideally get into your monthly income goal. So if you're someone that wants to get to 2K per month, ideally as a beginner, that's one or two brands a, a, a month that gets you there. And also, as you gradually do better and do bigger for them, you want to increase that. The goal is LTV here. The goal is to be able to get a brand to pay you 3K for the next three months. That's 18K for one brand. And that's just one brand. So imagine you're doing that with three or four brands per month. And these are brands that you actually like. Also, as a beginner, be intentional. Be intentional with who you want to work with. Of course, remain an open book, you know, in terms of your niches. Never come in with like, oh, I need to do this, do this, do this. Because what niche that you may have interest for, you get into it, you realize this is a niche that you actually can't genuinely create for versus you get into a whole nother niche that you never thought you could make content for. So in the beginning, like I said to a lot of people, like remain an open niche just because it's going to just help you be creative as a, a creator overall. So like I said, regardless of what happens, of who gets chosen, regardless, like you still have to wake up, you still have to do, you, you still have to better yourself. None of them are going to put millions of dollars in your pocket. None of them is going to change your life tremendously in a way for you and your family. You're going to do that. You're in control of that. So hopefully this video allows you to realize that. Bye.